Uh, let's propagate some string of dolphins. Step one, take a few four to six inch cuttings. Once you have your cuttings, go ahead and remove all of the leaves, which are the little dolphins, except for a few at the top. Once you've taken all, th all the leaves off, you're gonna wanna go ahead and stick this in a little jar of water, along with all your other cuttings. Now, be very careful not to leave any dolphins um, that are low enough to be suspended in the water because they will rot and it will look and smell disgusting. After a few weeks, you should start to see roots forming. Go ahead and take these out. Yep. So, as you can see, roots are coming out of the lower nodes and there are some new branches starting to form up top. Oh, and make sure to keep this in a nice uh, bright area. Um, string of plants like to get a lot of light. Once your roots have uh, formed successfully, you're gonna wanna get yourself some potting medium. Um, in this case, I have uh, miracle Grow, just normal miracle Grow potting soil. Uh, mixed with 50% perlite, so half and half. And then for good measure, I threw a bunch of sand in there just to help with the drainage. Get yourself a little pot, put a little bit of soil in there, grab yourself maybe like two or three cuttings each. Just lay them in there. And then top it off with soil. All right, let's get them potted up. Make sure to water them real good because soil is typically dehydrated when you buy it so it can actually drain the moisture from the plant. So you want to rehydrate the soil basically until your pot is dripping. Once that's done, press down ever so gently just to make sure that you're not leaving too many air pockets. You still want the roots to be able to breathe but you don't want to allow too much space for any water to pocket in. So, once you get them all watered up, keep them in a nice bright spot, preferably with a lot of sunlight. Make sure that they don't completely dry out, um, but don't keep them soaking wet. And whatever pot you choose to pot them in, make sure it has drainage holes on the bottom. Don't let it sit in any water for too long, otherwise it'll completely rot out the cuttings. Give it a couple uh, couple weeks and you should start to see some significant growth.